real quick with his ultimate and Beastmaster gonna scout the incoming gank here and Roshan gonna go down before they can even come Clockwork maybe gonna look to take this fight there we go Roshan picked up by the anti -mage and he's just gonna clean up here maybe because uh, this is not gonna go well for 4GL they don't have the tight ultimate they don't have that Lich ultimate Witch Doctor ultimate bouncing around Clockwork's gone in they picked up one they picked up two Titan VS both going down this Venomance has been maledicted taking a lot of damage gets power shot anti -mage will finish him off a couple more hits Lich gonna be next on the firing block for anti -mage. if they want to chase they don't want to chase so Beastmaster still with that raw didn't even use it that fight and uh, three more kills go in Ehome's favor and that is absolutely massive guys and we're gonna see Urn being popped off just to heal up this clockwork a little bit um, and uh, we're gonna see what looks to be a mid push here as three die heroes are now dead and what can uh, what can they do to defend this? I mean, Drow just under farmed slightly, has Mantisal, has 3.8k gold, needs to buy something, whether it's a butterfly or a BKB, needs to get something to defend this. There's no point having 4k gold when you're about to lose racks. You spend that gold, you spend it now, and uh, we're going to see what looks to be a push coming in. Beastmaster with a hood as well as the uh, Vanguard, and uh, wondering, uh, I haven't quite figured out what a lot of these are. There's a lot of keyboard shortcuts to get these little menus down, but I'm not quite sure what they are as of yet. Um, sure something out. And looking at this gold difference, what have we got? E-Home ahead by 14,000 gold, so a huge advantage in their favor. They're out farming, out killing, and out pushing their opponents. As you can see, 4GL just with the two bottom tier 1 and tier 2 towers at bottom push, haven't pushed the mid or the top tier 1 towers, so a huge gold advantage in E-Home's favor at the moment. And anti -Mage just with so many items, and we will see that tier 3 tower going down. They're not going to go for that Rax, at least not yet. Anti-Mage, I think, still has an Aegis. Yes, he does. And uh, that's going to keep him... Uh, give him a lot of pushing power and allow him to uh, really cause a lot of problems in these teamfights, even if he gets focused down. He's got that BKB as well, so I don't see him dying, and I see him doing a lot of damage. How much farm? 300 CS almost, and 120 on Beastmaster. The Dire team, 173 only on Drow, 162 on Venomancer. Drow has almost half of anti -Mage's CS. Um, that does include neutrals. anti -Mage is killing a lot of neutral creeps this game, so it's not quite 300... Uh 300 creeps killed, that's 300 creeps and neutrals killed. Uh, neutrals being those little guys that do just sit in the jungle waiting to be killed. That's kind of their only purpose. Um, as well as uh, some uh, jungle heroes that can actually convert them into their team. Uh, we're going to see Anti Mage take out this bottom tier 2 tower, getting more and more farm. Does have that butterfly up in about, ooh, I want to say 100 gold. Um, I'm not sure if he actually has bought that quarter staff. Has he bought it? Yes, he does. He's got that butterfly up in just a second. And, uh, there we go, he's bought it, it's going to be flying out to him. Butterfly, BKB, Battle Fury, and Vlads, as well as at Aegis and Treads, this Anti-Mage is pretty much at the peak of his farm. Not going to get too much more farm, I mean he can drop that uh, Aegis or Vlads and get some other big item like an MKB or a Heart, but really this is it, this is where Anti-Mage wants to push, he's not going to get too much more powerful, and uh, the Dire team only going to be getting stronger and stronger. That Drought, very underfarmed at the moment, has 5k gold, though. not underfarmed so much, it's just needs to buy something. There's no point Drow having 5k gold when their Rax is about to be lost. You buy something and there it is. It's a BKB on Drow. Um, it is probably a good item choice, but at the same time, not going to be able to do a whole lot on its own because Beastmaster with that raw that can go through everything pretty much and uh, it's just not going to be able to do enough damage when that BKB is on. Maybe Beastmaster maybe even going to just save the raw for when the, B the Drow goes in and uh, Clockwork with the hook shot as well. As mentioned before, that does stun, so that can slow down the Drow a bit. Um, I'll, uh, everyone in IRC, guys, I'll answer your questions at the end of the game. How about that? Because uh, there's a lot of questions coming out, and uh, I don't want to ruin my VOD with a bunch of uh, answers to questions which people aren't even asking. <laughs> but uh, we're going to see what looks to be a push here coming out from E-Home. anti with that Aegis doing so much damage. Uh, not even going for that Mantle I mentioned. So uh, obviously just wanting to have that evasion to fight that Drow Ranger. And Drow with a BKB. Venomous with Pipe has a Plate Mail as well. Maybe going for a Shiver's Guard. Um, and we're going to see this Rax under attack. News the Anti-Mage going to be the one doing the damage. There as Ty comes in. Pops a Ravage before Anti-Mage can even BKB. There's the BKB. He's going to go on this Titan. Titan they're going to get taken out. Maledict as well. Clockwork has gone in. Clockwork Clockwork hooks this Venomancer, Venomancer are going to go down, meanwhile Drow Ranger gets taken out by Anti-Mage, Anti-Mage with a double kill, triple kill, mega kill for Anti-Mage, and he has just cleaned up this Serbian squad, four down, GG is called by Badhari, and that is GG, that's the semi-final there guys.
E-Home versus 4GL. E-Home winning that. They go through to the grand final where they verse Na'Vi and 4GL go to the third place match where they verse Monkey, the Danish boys. Rise, Monkey, Angel, uh, Link and Calculus uh, who will be up against 4GL in that third place match. We're going to bring bringing you that cast maybe late tonight. Um, there are some other Dota 1 matches that I do have... Uh, a that I have committed to casting, but uh, we're going to be bringing you some more action later on tonight, guys. So thanks for tuning in. That was 4GL versus Ehome in the ESWC World Cup semi-finals, guys. So thank you. Hope you enjoyed that. And we've got one last thing for you, actually. Um, we're actually going to go back here, guys. Whoop, we're going to go back here, guys. One last thing for those of you who are interested. It's a little YouTube video. Um, this is Ehome's reaction to winning this game. Um, Ehome. Obviously, uh, the, the boys from China, who are representing China, obviously not one of the top Chinese teams, they're kind of a tier 3 Chinese team at the moment, but uh, they are uh, doing very well in this European competition, competing with the best of Europe, and really representing China, despite not being the strongest Chinese team. So here we go, guys, this is them. And, uh, oh no, it's not them, apparently. Okay, apparently we're having some technical difficulties. It doesn't want me to pop up this YouTube video on, uh, on the stream. We're gonna reload it. See if that helps. Um, here we go.
inside the cast then I might be going out for that or see who else is available in the cast. Otherwise I would be <laughs> otherwise I won't be going out for dinner but I've got plenty of food at home guys. Don't worry there. Um, this was the final moment. Well not really yeah this is some of the final moments of E Home versus 4GL um, just the live coverage from the event. Um, the replay is now over so for everyone tuning in you've missed the actual replay. Apparently some people say they can't hear me, that just means I have to talk louder or turn down the video. So what I was just saying guys, I've got Mineski versus Aeon coming up in an hour and a half. Um, that game will be cast by someone at Ghost of Gamers. Whether or not it's myself or not, um, I'm not entirely sure. I'll be going into the next game soon, um, if we do have time for another game. Uh, but guys, I'll let you know. I'll just do a bit of uh, see who else is on, who else can cast at the moment. Whether or not it'll be me or someone else, guys. I know it's. it's, it's I know you want me, but there's plenty of other great casters here at Ghostly Gamers, Gerald Manara, Perch Gamers, Charms, all great casters. So guys, we may be having one of them cover Aeon vs Mineski. You've got an hour and a half. If I'm going to be staying around, I may be doing uh, another game, which could be Navi versus Orange. Maybe, maybe, or maybe it'll be 4GL versus um, Ehome. No, sorry, 4GL versus Monkey. 4GL versus Monkey, um, which was the third place match. So uh, guys, I'll let you know in the next five minutes what exactly is going on. And there you go guys, Ehome getting going crazy.